What is up and welcome back. All righty, let's get into it. And you might be asking, what is this thing? This is a vintage cigarette thing. And it was my uncle's and I, my grandma was going to get rid of it. And I thought, you know what? This is pretty cool. So what you used to do is, you know, they used to have a lot of different smoking things. You put the cigs in here and then you pull the tail and it shoots them out. So this is a little vintage donkey and he's definitely seen better days, but I thought how fitting for our thumbnail. So yeah, isn't that pretty cool? So I think this would be neat if I had the right spot, like a little bar or something to use this as a little showpiece, but it is definitely vintage. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, time out. I think you... Yeah, I think the ears shoot. There we go. All right, let's get right into it. And donkey of the week. So, foodie, it's just a, another week in foodie land. Same old things, different day. So, I figured everybody else has already showed the videos. Let's just do a quick recap. If you haven't seen my Jacqueline Hill and Artiste, Artist Couture Cosmetics, I did the Baja Mountain Dew Baja Flash. It's dew with a blast of coconut and pineapple. So let's take a swiggle of that and get right into it. So I know not everybody's into makeup and watch the makeup video. You do get a tiny bit of the pineapple, but it is more coconut. So if you don't like coconut, you probably won't like this. And we also have another Summer Mountain Dew to try down the road this week. We also have an exciting announcement coming up later in the week of adventure we are going to take. I think it'll be great. It's going to be a good time. So stay tuned for that. All right, well, buckle in, get yourself a drink and a snack, and let's get right into it. So, Foodie has been on this weekend, the gentleman, the weekend that sings, she has a playlist, she said that she plays over and over. Now, what I noticed with this is, once she starts obsessing on something, it just, her whole focus is on that, and it is all she can talk about. It went from the Euro trip to, and I'm not going to say Euro bees because I do not like the word bees anymore. I feel like she has associated that with substance use, so that word is out the door for me. Every time I think of it, I think of substance use now. So, we went from the Euro trip to now this whole weekend concert. What my prediction is now, she wants everybody else to pay for the tickets because she said the budget is going to be a bit tight this month. She says she might be able to squeeze it in somewhere and she is at Nadar's house. And she says, oh, you guys can get me tickets coming up for my birthday. Just joking. I've also kind of came to the conclusion the last couple months that anything just joking means no, she's not joking. She is 100% serious. So she can go out, spend her money on this, spend her money on that, take care of Nadar, buy this, that, and the other eat all this fast food, and at Nadar, she said she had three Nashville chicky sandwiches. She hadn't ate them all yet. Don't worry. Well, buddy, I'm sure you're going to eat them all by the end of the night. With that also is the stream was like, I want to say, 42 minutes, and she legitimately could not stop eating. It's like, wow. 42 minutes and 19 seconds. It is called Night Hang. You also, I noticed, you say you're comfortable with your body, but you also used another filter to high heaven picture. And it's like, really, for 42 minutes, your whole stream that you hadn't done one, you decided to sit on there and eat. She was eating cheese curds, had some olives. She pulls out, he hands her a big hunk and chunk of pecan pie. So, everybody's talking about, oh, excuse me. The picture that was photoshopped with the weekend and like their arms around his arm around her. Guys, 
You know that Lewis and Brad probably made that. She does not take the time. I've said this again with her channel. Now, I'm all about, you know, people helping other people, creative sides. Everybody has different creative things. Awesome. But you also should be compensating people for their time. It is not like you are a small tr uh, channel that is barely earning any money. You pull in membership fees. You pull in super chats. You make money on your live streams that some are super duper long. You should be compensating these people for their time. So, I highly doubt, like I said, that she made them, I would say, Lewis and Brad, and I'm going to get to that in a minute, back to the thumbnails, but let's wait. So, you can buy substances, buy tons of Chibis, go buy earrings, this, that, and the other, but you cannot compensate these people for their time. Awesome. Another thing that I do not like, sorry, I have so much stuff written down here, I want to make sure I don't, she is pushing medicine. Okay, I'm all for, you know, if antidepressants help you, great. I'm all for that. But here's the thing with that. I get angry when she pushes them. If you do the counseling, do the work, talk to a psychiatrist, talk to a therapist, do counseling, and you add that with medicine, awesome. It can be a great combination. But you specifically said yourself that you are not doing anything to help your mental health. So therefore, to me, why are you pushing antidepressants to me on people? That is the vibe that I get. You're saying, oh, well, don't do the work. You can just get these pharmaceutics and everything will be all right. Um, as we all know, the trip to um, Montreal was canceled with Shannon. Um, I figured that would be, that was the night she was with Nadar. She's been at Nadar's right now. She's MIA. So I would probably say that she is there now because we all know any dying second that she's not by herself, she is live streaming and on the internet. There at this time, I looked, there is no community post. It is just the one with her on the weekend. So, she says, yes, I'm going to make videos, but you guys, she's not going to make videos. As long as these memberships are coming in, she's getting super chats, she's been able to purchase her food and Chibis and everything else she wants. She's not going to make a video until she has to. Now, maybe coming up, because she did act like money was tight this week, she said, basically, don't expect any Starbucks videos because money's going to be tight this week. Buddy, I think Starbucks is one. Yes, Starbucks is expensive. I do want to say that. But when you are spending $500 and showing $500 hauls on Chibis and edibles and snacks, I think that's a lot where your money is going. And you also had a pretty interesting month last month. And I spend, think you spent your money on a lot of extraterrestrial things, if you catch my drift, Joe Kane and the Posse. Um, yes, so she keeps talking about this weekend concert. Dude, you cannot film a whole concert. It is illegal. I have been to plenty of concerts. Some don't even want you to take pictures. Now, it's depending on the venue, depending on the artist, how strict things are, but you cannot sit there and film the whole con concert. So she keeps giving this thing, oh, it'll be content, it'll be content, I'll take you guys there with me, it'll be content. Dude, unless you're going to get in trouble and show this, A, copyright, hello, Captain, did you think of that? If you sit here and film the whole concert, put it on your channel, it is going to be copyright. And then, the weekend, or, you know, whoever, if he's under Sony or whatever records he's under, they can also claim that footage for being their own because you can illegally bootleg filmed their concert. All right. So then moving on, she talks about a man and a penny loafers, penny loafer shoes. You guys know the loafers, the old school shoes you could put the penny in is a man with penny loafers is a deal breaker. Well, buddy, let's check out your shoes. I highly doubt you are rocking some red bottoms, Louis Vuittons, or Louis Vuittons, or some Tom Fords. Uh, let's see your shoe game. 
uh, let's see Nadar's shoe game. I highly doubt you guys are rocking the cream of the crop. Now, again, I'm not making fun of anybody's shoes, but as Foodie says, she's making, oh, penny loafers are a deal breaker. Now, another thing that I do recall, if I'm not for sure, didn't you buy some loafers in your last winter haul and they were not wide enough? They didn't fit, if I'm not mistaken, and you were supposed to donate them, and I'm sure they're just bunched up in your closet under a bunch of dirty clothes or strung throughout or down by your um, entrance at your door that seems to be a cat hairy mess. Anytime you've showed the bottom landing of the steps with your shoes, it has been an absolute hairy disaster. So you want to sit here in shame saying somebody that wears penny loafers is a deal breaker. Let me say that I've seen some very classy outfits, men that have really dressed up the outfits and really worn some new nice penny loafers to go with them. But again, that's probably out of your realm as far as fashion because we see that you wear the same things over and over and over and the things that you buy are things that you think is trendy or trendy for Torrid. You know, I don't really think that Torrid is too trendy. Again, I know that, you know, she's a bigger girl and only has, you know, so many options for things to wear. But as we do know, like I said, she makes decent money. If she would cut back on the other spending, she could buy some nice shoes. She could buy some nice clothes, but therefore we would rather spend our money on Chibis. So she is cleaning out the car and whips out a giant black garbage bag. You guys, those garbage bags remind me of the ones that we use in the fall that I help my grandma scoop the leaves up in. They are industrial garbage bags. I still to this day have never seen anybody clean using industrial garbage bags. Again, like I said, my family uses them to scoop up the leaves in the fall, but that is the only time. I would be absolutely appalled to clean my car with having freaking a giant, and she fills the bag up daggone near. I would be absolutely appalled to clean my car. I cannot stand a cup, a water bottle in there. If I get out the car, if I get out of my grandma's car, whoever car, my car, whatever car I'm in, I immediately take my trash out with me. My grandma is like a neat freak, clean freak, as I mentioned. She does not have that, and I would not leave my trash laying around in her car either. So, I'm like, that is appalling to me. I was not raised that way. Just to throw my freaking leftover sandwich bag in the back. And then she holds up an orange julep cup. She's like, look, an orange julep cup. Dude, unless you went and we don't know, that orange julep cup was from like a week and a half, two weeks ago. It is the heat of summer in Canada, and it is the fermenting sun. That is absolutely disgusting. I don't think I would be so excited and so amped to show a rotting cup in my car. But hey, again, that's just me. So what I was getting to in the car cleaning video, pretty much it was a car trash picking up video. She didn't wipe anything down. She didn't vacuum it. She didn't dust off the dashboard. You know, you can get a little dust on your dashboard and stuff like that. Stuff in the creases of your seats. Really give everything a good armor roll. Or I've even heard one of my friends uses olive oil very lightly and it just gives a nice shine. And, you know... She didn't do any of that. She just literally... So, now she's trucking around and she's trying to find somewhere to dispose of this giant garbage bag of trash. Dude, take that bag home and dispose of it in your apartment trash. Little trash cans at the gas station and here and there are meant for a cup or two, a small bag of, you know, whatever. But it's not meant for you to fill up a whole damn trash can with your giant bag of trash. So, therefore, people that are passing by, getting gas, or wherever they may be, walking into the grocery store, they can dispose of their cup, their sandwich wrapper, their tissue, whatever. But now you want to fill up the thing and she also makes a comment well I'll dispose of it properly so I just don't leave it and get called out 
what was the point in saying that? To me, it made me feel like if you weren't on camera, you would have just physically left a bag of trash any old where. So animals could have ripped it open and drug it out. And therefore, whatever business it's at, a worker is going to have to clean that up. And then animals are eating things that they're not supposed to. So back to cleaning out the car. So she makes a statement that her whole tell her rear is hanging out i'm like really so you can fill the breeze here and you can you can fill the air at your tail but you don't know if somebody's kids are passing by somebody with their toddlers in the car somebody with their young children in the car and you can fill the air exposing your lady bits and you're not trying to at least cover them up now i can say i'm guilty of this some of the dresses i wear are a little shorter some of the shorts but if i fill the air i'm like okay let me adjust let me get situated, but she just makes the comment, oh, well, my tail's hanging out. Okay. So, then she keeps saying the Chibis this is her meds. Stop saying that. Yes, it does have medical properties, and I'm all for it, but you abuse it. You sit there and eat all night and day. You get up, you you smoke through the day through the night and then you continuously eat on it so therefore actually you think it might be helping your anxiety and like I said at least for me in my opinion now once in a while I do have some CBD edibles if my back is really hurting I have back troubles I have knee troubles so I do eat a CBD gummy from here and there but when I used to smoke the cheapest a lot I noticed that some of these stronger strands and when I would smoke a lot or hadn't smoked in a while and then would it would give me anxiety so she really doesn't get that you know she'll proclaim some days all oh, my anxiety is bad my well dude you're probably overdoing it and if you continuously are mixing the jocaine which if you do it one day you're going to get anxiety if you don't do it the next your body is like flip-flopped into hey what are we doing one minute we're on it, one minute we're not. So, I beg to differ with a lot of people I've seen in different people's comments talking about Nadar should have been quiet while she was streaming. No, I beg to differ with that. Now... If she had made a designated area in the bedroom and said, hey, I'm going to go upstairs in the room and I'm going to film, do my thing. And he came up there rustling and tuckling around. Okay, I could see that. Hey, I'm streaming. Can you please be quiet? But I cannot sit here and say, if I'm in somebody else's space or I'm at somebody else's house, or I'm out and about, and there's activities going on, or somebody's watching their TV show, and I am in their space, I can't tell them to be quiet. If you knew that you were going to go film, you should have said, hey, Nadar, is it okay? Excuse me, Nadir, I apologize. I probably say that wrong, and I'm not trying to be mean or disrespectful, Nadir, I apologize. Um, Hey, Nadir, can I go upstairs in the bedroom? Do you care if I film for a couple minutes up there? Haven't filmed all day. Okay. But the gentleman is watching TV. Now, you can say you don't like Nadar. Great. But the girl is still invading his space. He's watching his Saturday night TV shows. So why? Again, we would always say this. I would say this back at BB's. BB had a job. BB worked all night and day. She should have went in the bedroom or the extra room and made a little filming area. Why, if BB has worked all day, should he be, shh, 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 can you be quiet? No. If the guy's playing a game or watching his TV shows, that means you take your little area and you go make an area and you go film in that. If my family is downstairs hanging out, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to go upstairs in my little YouTube room or I'm going to find a quiet space outside, inside to remove myself so they can still do their thing and I'm not disrupting them and therefore they're not disrupting me. So I beg to differ on that and say that, no, she should have removed herself. 
She showed herself filming upstairs in the bedroom the other day. Why couldn't she excuse herself and have went upstairs in a quiet atmosphere? But hey, it's not about that. It's not about being in a quiet atmosphere. Like I said, she couldn't quit eating for 42 minutes. She kept pausing once again. So another thing that I was going to get into is these people are literally paying to be silenced. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Let me pause. Let me pause. Dude, if you cannot take, this is your job that you say is your job. You cannot take 42 minutes to put yourself in a quiet atmosphere. Say, you know what? Hey, now I can see when I review things. Hey guys, check this out. I got this to review, but I'm not going to sit here for 42 minutes. Now, have I ate on live streams, been out all day, been doing things, helping my family, doing whatever? Yes, I do get on here sometimes, eat a couple cheese and crackers if it's been a long day. But I don't plan to say, yes, I'm going to get on live stream and try to annoy you guys and drive you crazy for 42 minutes and eat cheese and crackers. I simply am hungry, but... There's a difference between being hungry and having the munchichis. If you knew you were going to get on here, you should have ate first. And then, like I said, it wasn't like a food review. You just simply were eating cheese and olives, the same shiznai that you eat all the time. So, then she makes a comment. And let's just use my notebook for this. And she says she is Let's just write it out because, like I said, last week I really got demonetized a lot or limited. She is Hornsville, if you catch my drift. That is absolutely repulsive to me. Why are you getting on here talking about that? That is too much information. That's just gross. That is absolutely disgusting. You guys, I was watching stories, stories from the internet and his review of Shani. And I literally took a bite of my spaghetti and Shani was like, oh, I'm having a bad monthly lady. And I was like, oh, sweet mother of baby Jesus. Why did I take a bite at the same time as that? I literally like... I stopped eating. I was like, how disgusting. Okay, move on and say your monthly lady friend is in town. But we don't need details of what's going on. Nobody's a doctor out here. Nobody can give you tips on how go to the damn doctor if things down there aren't right. Okay? So, moving right along from that. You know, I don't want to hear. And then she says, oh, people probably think they're watching this and think it's gross. You are damn right what was the point in saying that well you know i'm 37 you know i'm oh yuck dude like cut that sh like nobody wants to hear about your whips and your nips and your bull clamps and all your apparatuses and your microphone we were talking about the one day her vzz, no yuck moving right along so she is talking about budgeting and admits that she probably spends 3K on fast food. We've always thought that it was around that, but I was going to say maybe 2K, 2,500. Good night. Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and say that I don't get carry out and say that I'm an angel and I cooked every single night because I don't. I just ordered a spaghetti dinner. I got a lot coming up this week. You know, my family wanted one thing. I wanted another thing. And I thought, you know what? Let's just meet in the middle. We can order out. You can get what you want. I can get what I want. So maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, we get carry out. But it is not a every, excuse me, single thing. You know, it's like a treat. We use that as, hey... You guys have been busy. I've been busy. What are we going to do for dinner? Okay, let's order out. We do that as a weekend treat sometimes. So, anyways, uh, back to the 3K. Now, this just showed to me that you can tell that she doesn't ever think that anything. She definitely relies on her YouTube for her main financial. So, what I would say for that is if you're busy flashing Pushing substances, showing illegal things, showing yourself in 
compromising positions and doing terrible, nasty things, showing the public. I would probably be careful and be very safe if this was my only means of money and my only means to pay my bills. But that just shows you how reckless our girl is. She thinks she's untouchable, as I've mentioned before. She thinks that, no, it can't happen to me. So... Another thing that I wanted to say, again, I don't like to be in anybody's pockets, but she said something about making good money. Gravy. If you want to go see the weekend, you want to buy this, that, and the other, Simon has a vet appointment tomorrow. He, actually, it went away. That's what's kind of crazy. I don't know if he got into something outside. Um, I noticed there were some thistles against the fence. I don't know if he touched some kind of oak sumac or anything anyways a couple days ago simon had a rash on his belly and by his poor little wing so i called the vet and they're like well it's gonna be five six days before we can get you in long story short he's got a vet appointment tomorrow and what i'm getting to with that is you never know what is going to come up with your pets so you are sitting here showing 500 dollars cheapest hauls edible hauls but these cats have still not been to the groomers. You have showed that you've shaved them yourself. The cat literally bit you because obviously it was in pain and it did not want to be cut. So why not if you say you're making good money and you want to go to the weekend and this, that, and the other, take the cats to the groomer or call. I even know here in the States, I don't know about Canada, we have some people that will even have like little shag and wagons, little pet things, and they'll come to your house and they have their whole little setup. There's one thing that has like, my friend even uses it. She's in a different city than me. This little lady pulls up and she's got her little shag and wagon, we call it. And she is equipped in it. I mean, she's got like a little dog bather in there and she clips and snips and, you know, does not her little shag and wagon and off she goes. So she could even, you know, I know she doesn't like going places, but this is my thing with the not going places. You'll go to Farm Boy, you'll go run here, you'll run there, you'll drive freaking hours and hours for all this exotic food. Take the cats to get groomed. They're also elderly cats. I was going to cancel Simon's appointment because, like I said, the rash is sealed up. But then I thought, you know what? It's been about six, seven months since he's been at the vet. Let's go ahead and keep the appointment to make sure Wubbles is okay. Make sure he's doing good and just get him a little checkup since I've already got. Now, they are behind with what's going on in the world, so that's why I figured might as well keep the appointment. So, people are still joining the memberships, I noticed. Well, I don't see what you're really joining um it's just been another week in the life of shan toddles same old shiznai eating overusing of things laying around complaining she's tired promising asking oh sorry to speaking of promising guys i did not get to do the swimming live stream today last night as soon as i put that community tab up it started pouring down rain it was a rainy humid beast so maybe we'll get to that this week but it just wasn't swimming weather when I looked out this morning, it was like gloomy, and then it'd be sunny one second, and then it'd be gloomy, and I was like, you know what, so I do apologize, I did always keep an eye on the community tabs, like I said, we do have our giveaways coming around the bend, um, so do keep your eye on the community tab, and then I put like polls and questionnaires on there, so keep an eye on that. Now, I noticed that Lewis and Brad, they keep making these thumbnails and they keep putting Pete's in the thumbnails. If I was Pete's, I would say, please keep me out of your thumbnails. Here's a perfect example right here. So it's kind of like a Adams Family thumbnail. Sorry, guys, I don't want to turn off light, but there's Pete's, there's Sudi. I'm sorry, but keep me off your channel. We're barely hanging out. You don't really, you know, talk to me that much. Please keep me off your channel. If I'm not going to get to have fun and stream with you. Now, the other day, I think she was in the restroom or something. He did talk about the dirty llama and talking about her lady underneath things and something about fupa cheese or I don't know. It was absolutely appalling, but I felt a little bit of hostility in that. 
it was like he was kind of pulling out. He's like, yeah, she kind of stinks and was kind of like talking about, oh, the llama was dirty and I can't even imagine what was on it. And somebody said something about getting her a new llama. And he's like, nah, she doesn't need a new llama. Why ruin another one? So I kind of felt like, you know, it was kind of like he was sad and kind of, you know, putting, you know, the vibes out there of, you know, and then he makes a comment stating she comes back up and she says, what are you doing? And he says, I was keeping your stream busy for you. So you could tell that he kind of missed everyone. So then back to Lewis and Brad with these thumbnails. Lewis is her mod. I don't know about Brad, but Lewis is. So they seem to, and I get that's her whole funny thing, her whole weird thing. But man, you guys, they find some of the absolute most unflattering pictures. I get that's her thing, being weird, quirky, ha ha, he he. That's her vibe. That's her, it even states in here, random weirdness in the freaking thumbnail up here. But you guys some of the pictures i'm like man i wouldn't want that running around about me but hey that's just me you know she's the random weirdness queen so there is a thing everybody was like please do not chew live gum in your live stream ever again i absolutely agree why would you get on here? You know if you're going to be talking to people. It's not just like, okay, I did a review. I had something nasty in my mouth. You know, the taste of garlic and onions, very potent, guys. Let me chew a piece of gum, spit it out right quick to get my breath right. Dude, why would you get on stream and chew gum? And we already know when she chews, it is absolutely repulsive, in my opinion. Why eating gum? I'm like, are you sh my canoe? So, she makes a comment about third world, country, third world countries and mentions her aunt. Yeah, my aunt, she lives without, you know, she just got rid of everything and went to Jamaica. Who cares? Why, why are you talking about your aunt? That's what your aunt did. Foodie is another amber that I noticed. It's, was well, so-and-so did this, so-and-so did that. Let's compare myself to that. Chantal, we know that you're not going to move to Jamaica or somewhere like that. You would never, you you would never make it. The heat, the having to walk around, the humidity, the whole not a bunch of junk food. You know, I know every you know culture has different treats and pastries and snacks and candies, but you guys know what I mean. It's not like you can just get in your car and off to Boogie King you go in 2.5 seconds in Jamaica or somewhere like that. Um, she's complaining, talking about, oh, B.B. and his family, you know, they're so happy. They're not on antidepressants. Dude, your lifestyle, people have told you this numerous times. You literally eat and sleep, eat and sleep. You do substances, so therefore that changed the chemical imbalance in your body. That means when you do extraterrestrial substances, that can mess with your serotonin and your happy chemicals, different things. But, you know, to her, it's just a mystery. You know, well, BB's family is happy. BB's family's probably very active. BB's family probably doesn't set eat junk 24 seven. Now, can I say that I sit here and eat treats? Most definitely. You guys know that, but you also have to move around. You cannot lay up 24-7 and then wonder why you're getting bigger or why you're depressed. Okay, so yeah, so we covered that with the garbage bag. Um, I noticed something too in the night stream at Nadir's. Nadir kept sneezing. Now, I'm just saying these are only in my opinions. This is only what I've went through. A lot of the times when people are drawing off of substances, they will sneeze a lot. At least I did. It is just a common factor that I had. I've seen people go through. They'll get a runny nose. They'll sneeze a lot. They might get hot. They might get cold. But I noticed that he was sneezing quite frequently. Again, these are just my opinions. I don't know the guy. I don't know, but I thought that was interesting. He kept sneezing. 
So, literally, the car is trashed, you guys. She says the other day that the oil thing came on. She had just got the oil changed a while back. Dude, if you were driving far distances like you were driving to Montreal the other week so much, okay, maybe you need an oil change more often. You're whizzing around going further distances. You guys, she literally does not care about anything. She could give zero you know what's about that car, about her clothes, about her makeup, about the appearance and taking care of things. She just genuinely does not care. Everything is disposable. And that, like I said, shows to me that she's like, oh, who cares? I'm going to make money next week. I can rebuy the stuff, or excuse me, next month. I'm going to get super chats. I got my memberships. I can just buy new stuff whatever. I'm the complete same opposite, you guys. There's things I collect, things I've had for years. I showed you guys the crystals one day that I've had since I was a kid. I love to take care of my stuff and keep it nice and keep it pristine. And, you know, then I decide I get sick of it. I can put it in my yard cell consignment pile and on to the next one. But I, I just, I... I've never been like that. Even as a kid, I, I've never been like that. I've always taken care of things. Um, ranting about, so she gets home or gets in her car from Nadir's the other day and she's tired. Dude, that is what happens when you stay up all night and party and eat and party and eat and party and eat. And routine, same thing over and over it's like I'm getting the whole I'm tired thing is real old at this point. I have narcolepsy like I mentioned. And if you're new, I have narcolepsy. You guys, I am tired 24-7. And it is mixed with my depression and anxiety. And I really have to watch myself because I get angry that I get tired. And sometimes there's nothing that I can do about it. But damn, it's like, dude... You eat and sleep. You eat and sleep. Like, she doesn't worry about anything else. She mentions before in the car that she had a busy day. What What? What was a busy day? That you rounded up some trash in your car and it's still probably the bag of trash is probably still in your car rotting, putrid in the summer sun. So, she starts gaslighting people saying, I'm not going to address rumors, I'm not going to address lies, and I really wish you people would stop contacting my family. That's when they start to believe you people and yada yada. Dude, people see what they see on your streams. We had a stream, I think it was last week or the week before, where... You dipped off camera for a minute and there was awfully strange sniffly sniffleopagus noises in the background. What is it? Snuffle oh snuffleopagus. There were some pretty strange noises in the background, and I don't think it was just you blowing your nose, in my opinion. So why are you making it like people oh they're crazy? They're this, they're that. You are gaslighting people. People go by what they see. People go by your actions, your attitude, and what you were showing this, them. So stop with the gaslighting. It is getting real old, too. You guys, this week was just kind of an annoyance to me. That's why I figured I'll just recap it all in a one thing. Um, I'm just appalled. It's just, it, it, and then again, it's like, say, people say, well, Kaya, why do you watch? Because you never know, again, I've said this before, what is about to happen next. It is like a bad soap opera, in my opinion. So she pulls up at the gas station, and she's sitting there, and she pulls away. Oh, well, I don't want to get out the car. You cannot walk 20, 25 feet in the gas station. I'm like, really? And then you wonder why all your weight is coming back. You want to eat all these vittles. And then people can say, well, you eat vittles. Yes, I eat vittles, but I move around. I was like, are you kidding me? You're not even going to go in the gas station? Dude, she was parked right there. She had to go in the sidewalk and up the gas station. I was like, good night. So then she mentions there's a guy in the car beside her and he's looking at her or something, yada, yada, yada. God, good night. It is a free 
world, Chantal. People can park wherever they want. It is not your parking lot when you get in the car. People look over, they look to see what's beside them, who's beside them, what's going on. It is a normal thing. Even I do it. Hey, who's beside me? What's going on? You know, and then she says, people say, oh, is your doors locked? Oh, they weren't. Let me lock them. I'm like, nobody is trying to kidnap you, buddy. They cannot afford to feed you. No, ma'am. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be mean, but it's the honest truth. I cannot afford to feed her. So, then that's when the whole guy with the penny loafers things comes into play. And I'm like, dude, shallow Chantel coming in strong tubes. Like, <laughs> if that was all that I looked down upon somebody was to see, up, oh, you got penny loafers on. Dude, that could be the nicest person in the world. That could be the most caring, loving person. But old shallow Chantel over here, you know... It, it's because he's got penny loafers. See, it really shows when Chantal makes little statements like that, it really peels back the roast beef curtains. Oh, my God. Sorry. Bad joke. Don't want to take you there. My bad. It really pulls back the curtains of Chantel and the heart and really shows how shallow that she can be when you are going to like, dude, those could be some Tom Ford penny loafers. Those could be some red bottoms, some Louis Vuittons. Like, dude, you, your whole, like, I don't know who you think you are. You, you're not like... Your fashion sense, and again, I'm not trying to be mean. I hate to always say that, but your fashion sense is like, dude, you've worn a dress, a yellow dress that is so crinkly you can see it. You, I don't even think that dress has been worn yet or washed yet. The cat pajamas, I don't think that whole torrid haul that she showed months ago has been washed yet. And she has been rocking that. So, for you to judge somebody on some penny loafers, it's just, it's quite, a, it's quite funny to me that, you know, old, old fashionista, old Chantel over there. Speaking of, there was a bug crawling on her the other day, and she's, like, sitting here rubbing her face. Here the bug. It took me a minute. I am blind as a bat, honestly. I do wear glasses, and um, I have a glasses haul coming up. Stay tuned. I'm waiting for them to come in, but there was a little bug just trucking across her neck, and here she's, like... I'm like, how do you not feel that is beyond me? And she had just gotten at the shower, that was the stream of the shower. So then she says, I am single. <laughs> I am single. I was like, interesting. Can somebody text her that? Or um, can somebody replay that back to her next time he doesn't answer or he pops up missing? Or he doesn't want to hang out with her one day? Can somebody replay that moment back to her? So, she says, guys, I'm having fun with some people. Don't worry. Chantel, who are the people? From what I see, it's just Nadir, one person. You act like you are just catting around out here. You got dates on deck. Nadir's the only person that we see you hanging out with or even mentioning. So, I don't know who these people in plural are. So, like I said, she mentions about the three chicky sandwiches. Um, she's steady eating throughout the stream. Couldn't wait. So, now, she wants people to help buy her concert tickets. But to me, it looked like she had a half ounce of onions in the show at Nadar. She had a big old satchel of Chibis. Sure, that had to be a pretty penny. She proclaims it was a new strand. Um, do you know how to budget? You probably could have got a little bit less and saved some of that money. But no, with Chantal, it's all let's go big or go home. And then you guys can pay for my concert tickets, okay? So, she looks rough in the Trizzle stream. It looks like they had quite an evening the night before. She looks rough to me as far as appearance. 
she just looks, I mean, yes, she was ripped-y ripped, but she just looked like they had been on one the night before. Um, covered that. So, yeah, so four days ago was the night that was at Nadir's, or excuse me, open chat was four days ago. Two nights ago was the night chat at Nadir's, and then the weekend a day ago, and now today she is MIA. So, it shows to me that she's been hanging pretty tough with Nadir the last couple days. Um... Somebody says, why don't you go home and hang out with Pete's and the cats when she was cleaning out the with car? She said, I will. I'm not going home yet. I don't think she might have went home to feed the cats. I highly even doubt that. Not unless she was in and out. But to me, like I said, I feel like she's over there now. Um, Sorry, guys. Okay, so this is what I obviously think is going to happen. She's going to come home and screech and scream at the cats. Oh, I missed you. Come here, BB Junes. Come here, Sam. And then she's going to feed them a handful of treats. And that is her way of showing that she missed them. And you guys absolutely know how I feel about this. Don't give them handfuls of treats. And then the other day I noticed she was feeding them treats on her bed and I'm like, yuck. I get so mad when the dogs take a big drink of water and then they come jump on the bed. I'm like, you little rabbits, get your tails down. But, you know, it's, they don't know any better. They're just jumping up there. But you are literally dumping a handful of treats on the bed. I'm like, yuck. We already know that you don't wash the sheets every couple days or every week. And I'm like, good night. So, yeah, so this was just another week of eating, sleeping, and partying, literally. There was no substance at all, and that's why I said everybody else has covered the video. It was just the same, different week, legitimately. Um, she talks about anxiety, and she likes being alone. Chantal, you either have to be around Pete's, you have to be around Adar, or you have to stream... You are on live stream 24-7 when you are at home by yourself. You even came back on the other night that I showed. Check out that video where she was literally asleep. And then she like pops back up 15 minutes later because she said she didn't want to be alone. And she was hungry eating spaghetti and meatballs. So it's like, which is it here? Uh, then she talked about... You know, here's my thing. Dude, if you have anxiety and you're talking about this concert all in all, I think her anxiety, I've said this, I have truly been diagnosed with anxiety and depression disorder and PTSD. I don't just pick when my anxiety comes. I think, yes, she may truly have some sort of anxiety, but I do think sometimes it is selective when she wants to not be able to do something. I don't want to go to my doctor's appointment. I don't want to go to this family function or make a promise to a friend. All my anxiety is kicking in. Um, so then she talks about BBs and that they like to be alone sometimes. Dude, which is it? You just made a comment a couple weeks ago that when BB would iron his clothes, you would get annoyed. <clears throat> excuse me. You would get annoyed because he wasn't paying you attention. What is it here? No, what I think is when BB was in his own little world playing his game and watching his TV shows, he got annoyed by you telling him to shh, shh, shh. That's when you would go in the other room or your little thing with the screen that you made, your little mukbang area. That's when I don't think Chantel, yeah, maybe a little bit, but you guys can see, like I just said, anytime she's alone, she jumps on live stream and says she's freaking lonely. So my prediction will be with the concert. <clears throat> the concert is going to turn out like the OnlyFans. Remember when she did the OnlyFans and people wanted their money back and some people filed for a refund? And she said, well, if you don't want a refund, I'll just use the money for exercise outfits and a really good pair of tennis shoes. What I think is going to happen 
is she's going to weasel them out of that concert money and here the concert's going to get sold out or she's going to get anxiety and not want to go or she's not going to have somebody to go with. She'll use that as some kind of excuse or the concert's in the winter, the snow or something and then it's going to be a whole big debacle of you said you wanted to use this money for the concert and now you're not going so there was a rumor that somebody said the cats had passed, that BBJ had passed. You know what her rebuttal was? No, the cats didn't pass. I'm going to show you their, going to show you their butt for, like, I forget how long she said, and able to punish you guys for saying that. First off, I don't know who came up with that rumor, but second off, why are you going to talk about showing your cats butt as... That's just disgusting. Set back sometimes, Chantal, and think, excuse me, of some of the things you say. And you're going to expose your cat's body parts because you're mad that somebody made up a rumor. Set back and think how that sounds. Yes, the rumor was disgusting, but you know what's disgusting on top of that is setting, showing, saying, I'm going to expose my cat's butt. Because of the rumor. Get out of here. That, that's disgusting. So, she admits that there is some drama in the community, her little community over there. And says, yeah, my trolls have their little community and they have drama too inside of the community. Well, what it was, now, don't quote me on this. This is only things that I've picked up pieces that I've seen in her streams. And then they kind of went silent after that. I think it was at the beginning of the week or early into the bottom of last week. Sofa King is one of her people over there. To me, it seemed like they started out as a troll and then it's like they kind of got a soft spot for her and then fit in over there and then became part of the little community. Well, then what had happened is, I guess now again, don't quote me. This is just kind of pieces that I've read during the chat. Something about Sofa King exposing some photos of somebody, and that is how the drama got started with Sofa King. Now, I've always got creepy vibes myself, in my opinion, off of Sofa King, because it's like one day he's flirting with one person in the chat. It's okay to flirt and cat around. Yes, I get it. People do that. But when you're constantly doing that every day, singling out certain women, it's like, dude, that gets a bit old. It makes you look a little bit desperate. But hey, look at the title of the person's name. And I don't know how anybody else hasn't mentioned that. It is Sofa King. Sofa King. So in my mind, this is just another person that lays up on the couch all day, sets and chills, blah, blah, blah. Sofa King. What do we always say? Birds of a feather flock together. All right, guys, that is pretty much it. I know I've talked your little tails off, and I've talked mine off. Jen is back, as I've mentioned. It's Jean's birthday. Who would have thought? Everybody always says, and in my opinion, Jen always pops up when it's the holidays. Somebody sent her a pan set. Thanks, Marcine. Good night. I have never seen anything like it that people just send people things that it's like, you know, this person isn't doing anything to help themselves. They are literally laid up. And once again, in Jen's comment section, I noticed she, somebody makes a comment like, I can't believe that you guys put bread or butter on uh, banana bread. She makes jeans some banana bread as her cupcakes Banana bread muffins as his birthday treat or whatever. You guys, she really takes the time. It's so funny to me. She will go under. Somebody said, so you ate six, you know, muffins. She said, no, I didn't. I ate three. Jean ate three. And we gave some away. Okay, like she really takes the time. And then somebody says, I can't believe you eat butter on your banana bread. And she makes a snarky comment and says, this just shows to me that Jen does not want help. This is where she wants to be. This is where she is going to stay at. She says, no, I like cream cheese or peanut butter on mine. I was like, wow, you just literally just like show that you just 
you don't care. Hey, it's your world. If you don't care, I don't care. And I don't think that any of these women genuinely, I think it sounds good in their mind that they want to change. But when it all boils down to it, they're used to being this way. They're not going to put in the work and the hard effort. So, all right, guys, leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. What do you guys think about this week? Wasn't it just another week of the same old crap? It's like the snarkiness and the entitlement was out hard this week. So, all right, guys. My name is Kaya. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. We do a little bit of everything over here. Tea, news, hauls, reacts, drama, dog stuff. We have a cool adventure coming up this week. Stay tuned for that. Always check out the community tab. I post a little bit of everything. And we got a Target haul and a little bit of things coming up for the adventure that I don't want to give away coming up after this. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. And I got another video to put out. And I will see you, Love Tigresses, tomorrow evening. I have a counseling appointment and take old Siamy Symes to the vet. And it'll probably be I'll see you later in the evening. Might stream. So I love you guys. Have a great day. Great night. And Kaya is out.